to nurture, to grow, to mentor young people. Ibada nyingine ya wafu itafanyika hapo kesho huko Moranga. Aliyekuwa waziri mkuu nchini Raila Odinga amewakosoa viongozi wa kaunti kuhusu visa vya ufisadi katika kaunti zao. Raila ametaja ziara za ngambo zinazofanywa na viongozi wa kaunti kama moja wapo ya njia za ufujaji wa fedha za umma. Alikuwa akizungumza katika kongamano la ugatuzi linaloendelea mjini Kakamega ambapo pia amezungumzia azma ya kushirikiana na serikali ya Jubilee katika kupambana na ufisadi. And airports in long neglected part of Kenya, like Lodwa, uh, Wajia, Manalal, uh, and others. Hostels have sprouted in Wajia and Garissa. Northeastern can now access clean water through borehole drilling programs. Processing plants are sprouting in Makweni, Wasingishu, Nyandarua and Kirinyaga, among others, underscoring the potential of counties as the next centers of industrialization and job creation. A 35-year-old mountain of garbage has been taken out of Kisumu near the stadium, <laughs> underscoring devolution's capacity to stop the march of environmental degradation in the countryside. Unfortunately, these positive developments mean that there will be greater expectations of the county governments. Voters expect progress to be a straightforward march into the future, not a zigzag back and forth journey. Devolution's achievement should therefore not be celebrated without taking into full account the challenges ahead. The challenges and areas of possible conflict are glaring. For instance, the national government is pursuing its big four agenda, food security, affordable housing, manufacturing, and affordable health care. Most of these are revolved functions. Making sure the implementation by the national government does not undermine devolution or result in duplication and conflict is a challenge that we must address. There are two issues which I consider cardinal to the success or failure of devolution, good governance and political leadership. Good leaders need vision for the work they set out to do and a clear mission on how to pursue the vision. Often such vision and mission are stated in a manifesto. In a county, the governor's manifesto must find its way into the county integrated development plan, CIDP, to inform social and economic transformation. Implementing manifestos cannot be done unless the governor needs together a team that can deliver. You are therefore as good as your team. Someone said, show me your friends and I will tell you whom you are. But even here, there are challenges. How do governors implement their manifestos in an environment where the big four agenda includes devolved functions? A solution has to be found. And as they say, wherever there is a will, there's always a way. At this point, I wish to single out some very immediate threats to the evolution that we are tenors, uh, and your tenors that, that we need to address this early. Governors and the county public services continue to be accused of engaging in self-enrichment. And so, the whip of the governors complaining that they are being unfairly uh, 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 accused of being corrupt, that the corrupt ones have gone home. Too many governors and their executives are viewed with suspicion by voters, and many are under active investigations by the EACC. There is nepotism and cronyism in counties. 
and too many counties are failing to come up with clear pro-youth programs, with the counties also, uh, with also talk of an elaborate network of county, uh, uh, sorry, youth, youth employment. People pursuing businesses with the counties, people pursuing businesses with the counties also talk of an elaborate network of county assembly speakers, leaders of majority, CECs, county work supervisors, and county clerks, among others, whose sole purpose is to make money from public works projects. The officials have the capacity and audacity to paralyze, delay, and stall development projects. Sawa tunarejea mjini Kakamega baadaye kwenye gumzo la kaunti ambapo Willy Lusige leo atakuwa anaongoza uh, uh, sehemu hiyo lakini kwanza mtu angazie swala la wakulima ambapo mbunge wa Moiben Silas Tirena amekosoa serikali kwa kile anachokitaja kama kuwa danganya wakulima kuhusu kutolewa kwa shilingi bilioni 2.5 za wakulima wa mahindi Tirena amesema kuwa fedha hizo zilizoahidiwa na naibu wa rais William Ruto hazijawafikia wakulima Tirena pia amekosoa serikali kwa kufanya mikataba ambayo imeruhusu nunuliwa kwa mahindi kutoka mataifa mengine bila kuzingatia hatma ya wakulima wa humu nchini wakulima wanadai serikali shilingi bilioni tano. Semekana kuwa tunangoja supplementary yenye ba, eh, pale amenuko supplementary ile pesa iliyoko kwa supplementary ni 1 billion wakulima wanadai 5 billion so supplementary is yakuwa approved so sitaki semekana because mimi sijui nani anadanganya nani because waziri alikuja alisema mtalipwa ikapita Juzi Deputy President amekuja amesema mtalipwa imepita. Sasa sijui tuambie wa Kenya namna gani because mimi ni moja ile watu sijui kudanganya, sijui kusema uongo na ndio hii sasa imekuwa ni uongo inaanzwa kutoka mwanzo mpaka mwisho. Na je, ile kitu mimi nitamalizia. Hao watu wenye tunadanganya ni wale wale watu wenye tutakuja kuomba kura 2022. Sijui tutawaambia nini watu pigie kura. Hiyo ndio jambo ndio nilitukanwa na Murkomen huko sababu nilisema hivyo. Hakuna kitu kingine nilisema. Nilisema hao ndio watu ndio naomba kura 2022 let us address their issues first kabla tujiongee juu ya 2022. Kenya ni signatory ya Miputo Declaration na nitarudia na inasema hivi minimum ya budget ya agriculture inatakiwa ikue 10 pas, at least minimum of 10% ya budget ya Kenya. Ya hii yetu ya Kenya ni 2.9%. Na tunataka minimum ya 10%. Sasa nikaambia hata sikio tukiwa huko nikaambia deputy president wewe uko hapa, wewe rotichu kwa hapa ya, ya finance, tafadhalini sukumeni budget ya agriculture ifike 10% ndio hii kelele ya ukulima itaisha yote. Jambo ningemalizia ni kusema vile vile agriculture iko kwa ile big four ya president. Ya president wetu huru Mwigai Kenyatta. Alisema the big four na agriculture iko ndani yake. Na ndio hii tumeshindwa pia hata kusaidia wakulima kulipa hao pesa yao ya mahindi. Ndio hii mbolea hakuna. Ndio hii maziwa imefika shilingi shirini kwa lita moja. Hasa jameni, mjuzi niliona wanaenda kumanana Uganda kufanya agreement ya mahindi. Huko huchukui mahindi kwa deni. Ile inatoka Tanzania huchukui kwa deni. Ile inatoka Mexico huchukui kwa deni. Lakini ya mkulima yetu inachukuliwa kwa deni. Mimi nataka niulize ni kwa nini? Athari za mvua zinazidi kushuhudiwa maeneo mengi humu nchini kutokana na mvua hiyo wakazi wa vijiji la uh, vijiji vya Lelgoi, Uson, Uswet, Kolongei, Sirwa, Tereno na Sile katika kaunti ya Nandi wanaishi kwa woga wa mmonyoko wa ardhi baada ya maporomoko kushuhudiwa siku ya jana na kuharibu hekari kadhaa za ardhi maporomoko hayo yameathiri maeneo kadhaa ya kaunti ya Nandi kama vile Tinderet, Adlai, Mosop, Nandi Hills na Cheumei usiku wa Jumamosi baadhi ya wanakijiji waliponea kifo kutokana na maporomoko hayo aidha gavana wa kaunti ya Nandi Steven Sang ametoa agizo kwa wizara ya fedha kaunti ya Nandi kutenga fedha za dharura zitakazowasaidia wakazi wanaokumbwa na majanga na hii inashinda huko kakamega si ndio Tunaishi mahali inaitwa Gwari ili pomolewa mahali ilikuwa imewekwa mjanga hapo. Sasa akapomolewa akaingia kwa mahindi, akasomba yote kaawa, ndisi ilikuwa kwa hapo hata mamiti iliangusha ili yote. Tuko na sita tumeama tumeenda kwa shule. E, wengine ameenda kwa senda kuishi. Hatuna kitu ya kukula. E, tumehamisha watu. 
na <coughs> tunamwambia serikali atusaidie kabisa tuko na tuko na mbaya kabisa kwa eh, kijiji ya Koyo 112 households in the villages of Uson Uswet Kolongei and Kap Kapkanin in Songo Sova Ward and Sirwa Tereno and Sile in Kapchorwa Ward have been affected. Kapchanga alone has 130 households displaced. One family has been affected in Koyondurio Ward. In total, 243 households have been directly affected, translating to an estimated 1,054 people. Tukiachana na hayo wanaume watatu waliyoshtakiwa kwa kosa la kumlawiti mvulana wa umri wa miaka tisa wamehukumiwa kifungo cha miaka ishirini na mitano mahakama ya Mombasa iliarifiwa kuwa mnamo tarehe 13 na 15 maeneo ya kidogo basi katika kaunti ndogo ya Kisauni Vitalis Mumanyi uh, Kevin Musungu George Mondi na wengine walifanya kitendo hicho cha uhuni na unyama mahakama hiyo pia iliarifiwa kuwa washtakiwa hao walitishia kumua kijana huyo endapo wangesema aliyomfika Mkurugenzi wa shirika la utafiti wa masuala ya misitu nchini Kefri sasa anawahimiza wa Kenya kujitahidi kupanda miti wakati huu wa mvua uh, mvua nyingi daktari Jen Juguna aliyasema hayo mapema leo katika chuo kikuu cha Maseno alipokutana na wadau wa masuala ya misitu kutoka maeneo ya Nyanza na Magharibi mwa Kenya Kenya bado ina asilimia kumi tu ya maeneo yaliyo na misitu nadhani kuwa inalenga uh, kufikisha hiyo asilimia kumi ya misitu katika Kenyans love to plant trees and uh, the, the problem is you they get trees and plant them in the wrong site and of course they don't survive very, very long so for Kefri we insist on matching tree species to the site that is supposed to be rehabilitated or planted. Kwa kwa kama njia ya kuboresha utendakazi katika bandari ya Mombasa halmashauri ya bandari nchini imenunua vifaa vipya vya uchukuzi vikiwemo kreni vikiwemo kreni shehena ya kwanza ya vifaa hivi iliwasili katika bandari ya Mombasa katika mpango wa ununuzi wa vifaa vipya uliozinduliwa mwaka wa mbili. kreni hizo zitasaidia katika kufanya upesi shughuli za kupakia na kupakua mizigo kutoka kwenye meli We are very delighted this morning, especially since Saturday, for having received the first contingent this year of our, as part of our port equipment rehabilitation and replacement policy, which started way back in 2002. And uh, we started by rehabilitating quite a number of the cranes that we had, and then we acquired new cranes. Uh, at, the, at the terminal, the, the old terminal, which we call Terminal 1, we now have 10 ship to shore gantry cranes and almost 40 rubber tired gantry cranes and uh, over 90 uh, terminal tractors. This equipment has helped us achieve a lot by enhancing our uh, ship and yard operations. The cranes will be ready by the end of June. There are so many items that have, be, have to be assembled, they cannot be transported with uh, most of the loose items, so they have to be assembled here. It will take roughly one and a half months to complete the process of assembling and commissioning. 
Leo ikiwa ni tarehe 25 mwezi huu Aprili ndio siku ya malaria ulimwenguni na ndio siku inaadhimishwa ulimwenguni ya malaria. Kauli mbiu ya siku hii ni kuwa tayari katika kupambana na malaria. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta alipokuwa jijini London alielezea umuhimu wa ulimwengu mzima kupambana na malaria ambayo imesababisha vifo vya wengi. We in Kenya have committed to universal health as part of our four pillar agenda in delivering better lives for the Kenyan people over the next four years. And our people's health, roofs over their heads, jobs from enhanced manufacturing, and access to food and nutrition are all key to moving our country in the right direction. But of all these challenges, mankind faces health is at the very heart. To reach our goal of universal health care in Kenya, prevention of common diseases is therefore pitiful, uh, pivotal. And in our country, and very much in many parts of Africa, preventing malaria has to be at the very top of that agenda. Kenya has seen the malaria prevalence rates reduced from 11% to 8%, thanks to continued targeting of, and malaria interventions. This drop in the prevalence is especially evident around Lake Victoria, where during the same period, the prevalence dropped from 38 to 27 percent. Clearly, this is still far too high, and our government is determined to lower the prevalence further to reduce morbidity and mortality Na kuna mipango mingi ambayo imekuwepo kuhakikisha kuwa uh, ulimwengu unapambana na malaria tangu mwaka wa 2005 ambapo uh, Marekani ilizindua mpango wa kuomesha maambukizi ya malaria katika mataifa 15. Kuna maelezo mengine mengi hebu tupate uh, hizo takwimu na maelezo kuhusiana na hata zile fedha ambazo uh, Kenya imeweza kutenga uh, katika kuhakikisha kuwa uh, kama taifa tunapambana na malaria uh, pamoja na kupunguza idadi ya vifo fo kwa wananchi wa taifa hili Uh, tunapumzika kidogo lakini kabla ya hapo nimekuuliza je umeridhishwa na uhusiano kati ya magavana na wawakilishi wodi katika kaunti yako je umeridhishwa na uhusiano uh, kati ya magavana na wawakilishi wodi katika kaunti yako ndio gumzo la kaunti hii leo Willy Lusigi atakuwa anaongoza sehemu hiyo nambari ya rafa ni 22155 au kupitia mtandao wa Twitter at @KTN News ama at @MKapombe ukitumia hashtag mbiu ya KTN tueleze kama ndio umeridhishwa na uhusiano wao au la hujaridhishwa kisha tuambie tu unawasiliana nasi kutoka wapi Willy Lusige uh, atakuwa na gavana na magavana gavana wa Vihiga daktari Wilma Otichilo na na mwingine ambaye sitasema kwanza hadi niweze kupata hakikisho kuwa atakuwepo lakini Willy Lusige atakuwa naye hivi punde uh, tunapumzika kidogo usiondoke